Every community has a theme song. It's usually a uh, melodic cacophony of its past and present. King Lincoln District is no different. Today, we'll get to hear that song. Now, as skylines change, buildings come and go, sometimes communities lose that song. Sometimes it's flat out erased. But it's upon us, incumbent upon us, to keep that song alive. For me, it started here. 98 Hamilton Park. This is the former home of the Urban Minority Alcoholism Outreach Program. We called it UMOP for short. It was ran by Mr. Alfred C. Ray, who's here today. UMOP was a drug and alcohol awareness program for teens. And within that program was the self-esteem team. The self-esteem team was a performance-based education group that used raps and skits with courses like Get High on Life or I'm Proud of What I Am to teach and impart the dangers of drug and alcohol use. It was, the, it was within that group that I first fully became immersed in hip hop culture as well as one of the first times that I really saw music being used to teach and connect community. We must keep these songs alive in our communities. These songs influence how other people see our community, especially when they look at our community as something that's dead, dying, ripe for renewal, rejuvenation. A lot of us know it firsthand, quite frankly, as gentrification. And I'm seeking to change those perspectives. I think to myself, what better way to change somebody's perspective mentally than to change their perspective visually? So today, I'm not going to take you on a tour of the streets of the King Lincoln District. Instead, we're going to fly through them so we can hear and see this community in a whole different way. The King Lincoln District is a historically black neighborhood just east of downtown here in Columbus, Ohio. Now, years ago, the residents of this neighborhood called it Bronzeville. It had its, its affluence, and it had its quote unquote everyday people. Now, as you approach this neighborhood from the west, the Longstreet Bridge, and the cultural wall put names and faces to a lot of the people who had artistic, specifically musical influences throughout this neighborhood. Now, whether that's Carl Sally, Rusty Bryant, Rasan Roland Kirk, just to name a few. Now, I wasn't there to hear what that sounded like, but when I think about it, I think it might have sounded a bit like this. Now, along with that artistic, creative energy that the district had, Bronzeville was very, 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 very intentionally involved in civic and religious engagement throughout the community. So whether that's spaces like Second Baptist Church 
or others that served as not only stations for the Underground Railroad, but then again as hosts for civil rights and community activism through the 50s and 60s. Whether it's 1968 or 2018, it would not be uncommon to hear sounds like, let's say, Amazing Grace floating through the community. Now, with the construction of the I-71 highway, some other factors that included the outflux of some affluent families, a lot of people use those factors to now see the King Lincoln District as a poverty or crime-ridden neighborhood. And of course, that makes it easier to come in and make the neighborhood better. But we must keep in mind that even to this day, Bronzeville hosts festivals, community development organizations, banks, small business owners, medical research facilities, along with nationally known and recognized creatives and artists, all of which are doing their part to place their voice, their song, their harmony within the song that is the song of the King Lincoln District. Along with doing that work for the future residents, they're putting their stamp on the, hing on, excuse me, on the history of the King Lincoln District. To me, it sounds a little like this. We must remember to keep these songs alive. Now, if you drown out the hustle and bustle of traffic or the dings and pings of our digital devices, or even if you can find a way to ignore the screams of war and brutality, you'll be able to hear the song of whatever community, whatever neighborhood that you're from. And I charge you to add your voice to that song. To me, by adding my voice, Sure you add your voice. Thank you. <laughs>